All right, so let's uh, take a gander back over Power Series and just kind of review some concepts dealing with it. And then, as of, of course, how does a Power Series relate into a differential equation? So uh, let's just start with the general idea of a Power Series. So in a Power Series, you're looking at a sum of infinite terms um, where you've got a constant uh, and then you've got a constant times x minus a, and then a constant times x minus a squared, and then cubed, and then such and such and such. But it's a, a series of terms that fit in this general format here. Uh, with respect to that power series, uh, we refer to that power series as being something uh, called convergent uh, at a specific value of x if the sequence of partial sums uh, exists. So if the limit as n approaches uh, infinity, we generate a specific value. Um, then we say it's a convergent sequence. If the sequence, uh, the limit does not exist, then we call it divergent. Um, and again, we'll, we'll review in a little bit um, what this has to do, you know, how power series works with uh, expansion of terms and this idea of convergent divergent. Uh, Continuing along those lines though, uh, when we refer to being convergent, uh, a power series can also have a radius or an interval of convergence. So uh, we, we look at it in sort of three different cases um, where it's convergent uh, everywhere, it's convergent at a specific point, it's convergent uh, in a small range of values. Uh, and so that conversation we refer to as a radius of convergence. Okay, so with respect to this interval of convergence, when we talk about the radius of convergence, we break it down into three cases. Uh, if the radius um, is non-existent, so the radius is zero, um, we say that it converges only at its center. Uh, if, we uh, if the radius is infinitely large, um, then we say the series converges for all x. Uh, and then just kind of the, the nuance concept here, um, when we're referring to this radius of convergence, um, if we kind of think of it like on a number line, and we have this point A, there's a certain distance away from A that we can go. And everything within that interval, we say absolutely converges, and anything outside that interval, uh, we say diverges. Uh, and that interval itself is what we're having the conversation about being how big it is. Uh, now, what we're not clarifying at this particular moment is what happens at those transition points. Depending upon the series, depending upon the type of pattern you're dealing with, uh, it may or may not be convergent um, at the actual interval points itself. So that's another conversation for another class another day.